Module 3 Adventure When you try something that could be dangerous, it's an adventure. Are you an adventurous person? Adventurous is the adjective. Adventure is the noun. Yes, I am. I like doing extreme sports. Extreme sports are dangerous sports, like diving bungee jumping, canoeing, because I think it's a very exciting experience. It's very thrilling, very interesting. What's the most exciting thing you have ever done? Ever means in your lifetime. I've jumped off a cliff into the water. Cliff is a large area of rock at the edge of the sea or a river. It was really amazing, but very dangerous. I could have injured myself. I could have hurt myself. Ouch! Ouch is what you say when you hurt yourself. Ouch! Vocabulary. Look at the pictures and complete the sentences with the words in the box then listen and check your answers now all these words are nouns except for broke which is the past of break now the words are easy tree banana bike this is a bike arm this is an arm broke the past of break when you make something separate into two wall this is a wall now complete the sentences. One, Brian jumped off a... When you jump, you push yourself into the air using both your legs. Jump off means he was on the wall and then he jumped off a wall. He fell down the past to fall down and hurt his. When you hurt, you injure, you cause pain. To his three things one his back this is his back right here and he broke his finger so what is the third thing it's his arm two Tim fell off fell off is the past to fall off it means he was on the bike and then he fell off the bike and he hurt his knee. This is the knee. 3. Nigel crashed into. When you do this, this is crash into. He crashed into a tree and he hit his head and his wrist. What's a wrist? It's this part. It's where you put your watch. We need a verb here. He broke his wrist. 4. Jeff slipped. When you slip, you slide and then you fall. On a banana skin. Somebody ate the banana and he left the skin on the floor. Fell down the past of fall down and sprained his ankle. The ankle is right here. The joint between the shin and the foot. He sprained the ankle. He twisted the ankle. Now here are the body parts from today. Body parts. Arm, finger, back, knee, wrist, ankle. Read. The people and the cat shown on the right. Shown is the past participle of show. The people and the cat you see on the right were involved in a car accident. They were part of a car accident, a car crash. Can you guess what happened? What do you think happened? Let's read and find out. Before you read the text, look at the pictures. They will help you understand the text. They will help you understand the reading. 
A police officer, a policeman, is interviewing three eyewitnesses. Eyewitness is someone who saw an accident or a crime. Listen, read, and check your answers. Then read the dialogues out in groups. Excuse me, what exactly happened here? I'm not sure. I live in that house over there. I just saw the boy. He was lying on the pavement and his knee was bleeding, so I called for an ambulance. Did a car hit the boy? I really don't know. Is he okay now? The boy? Yes, he just hurt his back and his knee. What exactly happened? Tell me everything. I just saw. I only saw. He was lying. His body was in a flat position. Now the base form of the verb with I and E, lie, when we add ing, we change them into y, lying. The past is lay, the past participle is lain. On the pavement, this is the pavement. And his knee, this is the knee, was bleeding. Bleed is a verb means blood was coming out of the knee. So I called for an ambulance. I used my phone to call an ambulance. This is an ambulance. Did a car hit the boy? When you hit, you touch something quickly and hard. The boy just hurt his back. He injured his back. This is the back and his knee. Excuse me, did you see the accident? Yes. The boy was skateboarding on the pavement. Suddenly, I saw the car. Where were you? I was walking on the other side of the street. Was the driver going fast? Yes. But suddenly, the car swerved, changed direction, and almost hit the boy. So the car didn't hit the boy? No. He just fell down, and the car crashed into a tree. That's strange. Suddenly, it happened quickly and unexpectedly. This is one side of the street, and this is the other side of the street. The car swerved, it changed direction. Swerved, changed direction. Almost means it was very close. It didn't happen but it was close. Fell down is the past to fall down when you move downward and the car crashed into a tree. Look at the picture. The car crashed into a tree. That's strange. That's unusual. That's weird. Excuse me, can you explain what happened? Well, there was a cat, you see. Ah. A cat? Yes. It was in the middle of the street. I think the driver didn't want to hit it, so he... Now I understand. The driver swerved because of the cat and almost hit the boy. What boy? N never mind. Can you explain what happened? Tell me what happened and make me understand it. You see, like you know, there was a cat you know. The cat was in the middle of the street. This is the side of the street and this is the middle of the street. Never mind, just forget about it. It doesn't matter anymore. Complete the paragraph below. A boy was skateboarding on the pavement. A young man was driving his car, but he was going fast. Suddenly, quickly it happened. He saw a, a cat in the middle of the street. He tried not to hit the cat, so he swerved and changed direction, and he crashed into a tree. He didn't hit the boy, but the boy fell off 
his he was skateboarding so he fell off his skateboard and he hurt his back and his knee his knee was bleeding three grammar past progressive I played football a week ago this is past simple we took this in module 2. Past progressive is when you say I was playing. Look at the verb played, playing, ing, and we have was. We use this if we have a specific time, 5 p.m. Use past progressive. Now, we will talk about the difference between past progressive and past simple in the next video, 3B. This video, we will only focus on adding ing to the verb and using was and were. This sentence is affirmative. To make it negative, we say, I wasn't playing at the park. Now, wasn't is short for was not was is used with i he she and it if you have you we or they we use were if it's an affirmative sentence we say you were if it's a question we say were you this is a question what were you doing last week at 5 p.m the answer, I was playing football. You weren't playing at school. You weren't. To ask a yes-no question, we start with were. Were you playing at the park? And the answer, no, I wasn't. If you want to ask with when, where, why, you just put the question word here. When were you playing at the park? Why were you playing at the park? Where were you playing? Now complete with the past progressive of the verbs in brackets. We will not use past simple today. All of them will be completed using past progressive only. Yesterday afternoon, Jill and Jane, we have two girls, they, they were cooking. Suddenly, Jill cut her finger, it, it was bleeding a lot, and she couldn't stop it, so Jane took her to hospital. Susan, she, was watching TV all day yesterday. At around 7, a friend came to see her. This is a question. Look here. What were you doing? What were you doing all afternoon? This is another question. It's a yes-no question. Were you playing computer games? No. I wasn't playing computer games i was surfing the net how did ryan break his leg well he he was running near the swimming pool and he slipped and fell four speak and write role play Imagine, just picture it in your head, that there was a car accident in your neighborhood, in the area where you live. Talk in groups of four. Student A, you are a policeman, a police officer. Ask the eyewitnesses, students B, C, and D. They saw what happened. Ask them these questions. Students B, C, and D. Discuss the questions and answer them. What time did the accident happen yesterday? At around 6 o'clock. Where were you? Notice 
that were is the past of are and we have where. How do you say this? Where were you? Where were you? If it's now, we say, where are you? Where are you now? Where were you yesterday? We were at the skate park. We were skateboarding. What were you doing? Ali and I were skateboarding and Hassan was talking on his mobile. I saw a boy running down the street. A man was riding his bike, but the boy didn't see him. The man tried not to hit the boy and he crashed into a car. Did you call for an ambulance? Yes, we did because the man's head was bleeding. Now write a short paragraph about the accident. Here is the paragraph. Yesterday, my friends and I were at the skate park. Ali and I were skateboarding and Hassan was talking on his mobile. Suddenly, we saw a boy running down the street. A man was riding his bike. He tried not to hit the boy and he crashed into a car. The man hit his head and he was bleeding. We called for an ambulance. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Goodbye.